What's up guys? Tony Macaroni here. Um, I've recently was looking for trainers that I would obviously like to purchase. Um, the only problem is I didn't know what to purchase. Like, I looked online, I was looking at the 720s. I thought, oh yeah, I'll look, see what they're like. I got what they was like when they was new, but I didn't get what they was like when they was used. And I want to know what my shoes are going to be like within two weeks time, three weeks time maybe even a year. So I was thinking to myself, oh man, so I, ju I just went and got some 95s, because I, I know they're trustworthy shoe, they're a good shoe, wrap around your foot, comfortable to wear, and cheap, cheap really, especially with student, student discount, and if you use Foot Asylum many times, you can get the discounts, you can get up to, well, unlimited discounts really, but obviously that's with spending money. But yeah, I thought, I thought, oh man, I really wish I could have a look at these wearing tear. I mean, I found a few things, but they just wasn't very, really what I was looking for. I just want to know, are they good? Do they perform? Do the performance they need to? And what they're like on feet after, do they wear too hard? So, I mean, to start off, I've got a pretty worn, worn pair of shoes coming up for you, the Air Force, Air Forces, which are obviously known for their crease. Uh, I'll be doing the mids somewhere along the line. Uh, I don't know where. I mean, my, my mids ain't really that worn, to honestly. I mean, they've got the crease, but yeah, I haven't really worn them that much. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start off with the Air Forces and uh, see what you think. As I say, they're very worn. I'll use them for work. But here they are. One and two. Uh, as you can see, yeah, they, these are the completely black. I just put white laces on and got rid of the Air Force one. But these are outstanding shoes. I mean, you get the crease. That's a problem. You get the wearing tail. It's a leather shoe, so you get the scratches and the creases. Which you can't really, you can't ask, ask much more. A seventy pound shoe. I mean, it's comfortable for what you're paying. I mean, look, look at that. Look, it's just a lovely shoe, really. I've had this bloody ages. I can't really tell you. Uh, about six months. No, over that actually. Yeah, I'd, I'd say about nine months at least now. I've had this shoe for a long time. Um, as you can see, at its fair wear. But um, yeah, it's a good shoe overall. I, I love it. Come with you. I mean, it looks great on foot. I mean, even with this crease, it, it doesn't appear as much as it does when you've got a shoe like this. It, it sort of, when your foot's in there, it does come out a little bit. I mean, you've still got the crease there, but it's not that bad. Uh, the inside of the shoe, it's all padded, like literally all the way around. You've got a soft, I don't know what you want to call it, like a, well, it's some sort of mesh material. Nah, not really. It's just like the fabric that you get on the edge goes throughout the shoe. Like, look how clean it is inside. Like, I mean, it's worn a little bit at the back there. Got sand on inside it, but the two main problems, as I said, the crease it wears wears quite a lot on, on the bottom. I mean, they're the most slippery shoes I've had since I had the uh, Air Maxes that are over there. Uh, need, well, I'll, show, I'll show you now, just one second. These two will be in another video, but as you can see, these are worn. Uh, since these, these these were such slippery shoes. I mean, I don't know why I, I, I had no fashion when I had these, but I mean, if you want to get yourself a pair, then you can. Uh, I think I paid 95 for these, but they've gone down so much. Like they really don't cost anything, but as you can see, basically made to slip. But now for the next on for the bit. There you go. Lovely on for those, I mean, they look a bit warm. I mean, they've lasted nine months. At least they can make you last more if you use them. The way I use them, but there you go. Do choose the whiteness of the legs. I've had a. Uh, well, I don't know where you get my legs out. I've been on a leg, but that's worn off now, so. Obviously, it's back socks. I'm going to put some white socks on. I'm not bringing them, but. Put a white lace, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll do above. Quick look at the above. Anyway, yeah. I mean, pre durable on the foot. Protection in the foot, as I said before. There's not much to get through there. I mean, the sole is massive as well, so not much to get through. But 
There you go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, not the issues of kids, so I won't be able to show you that many, uh, many shoes. I mean, I, I've got one main jet pair of shoes at the moment, really. But um, I'm going to show you a few. I think next week I'll mostly do like seven ultras, which are very, very bad, very bad thing to say about them. Just in case you want to know about them a little bit, I wouldn't get them until you've watched the next week's review or you've watched another after wearing a long time review. Um, I believe this is there's so many problems with them. I mean, don't get me started, but wait till next year, next week or until you've got another review, or it'll be every two weeks um, until you've seen another review or something like that because they are, as I say, them. They're very bad. Shoes. I mean, they're comfortable. When you, the first first time you get them, first few days, bang your shoes. But long distance, they keep they hold nothing like this, mate. They they hold nothing like that. Oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'll, I'll let you know one bad thing about them, which ain't two, which is one of the worst, baddest, baddest. So one of the things that ain't the worst thing about it, and that, that's saying something, and that is the wear on the bottom. They they are very. I don't know how, but they still keep their traction. Like they're still very good, unlike these. But they wear, they do wear. You're down to bone within the first few weeks of wearing them. The first month, first month of wearing them, you're down to the bone. You already experienced some problems with the shoes, the tightness, the laces. They get quite dirty, but as ultras, I mean, on most ultras they do. But Nike ultras, they do normally clean up uh, perfectly, but. They do get dirty easily, so you you constantly cleaning, getting dirty, cleaning, getting dirty. So that's one thing. But anyway, Air Forces, I complete ten out of ten, mate. Brilliant shoes. Keep keep their keep their self going. I mean, obviously you've got your problems with it, but if this was clean, no one would notice how old the shoe is. Right? Okay. It's literally. I mean, it's it's you've got the creases. But I think the creases make the shoe, to be honest with you. That crease there, it'd be nice if you didn't have that crease. Not gonna lie. Uh, but I mean, it's a part of the shoe now, really. It's just, I mean, as you saw when it was on foot, it wasn't even that bad. Like, it's, it's not noticeable that much. If it does, people still see the rep in the shoes. People know that it comes up within a week, so even if you've got them on for a year, they, they won't even notice. Um, they're also very comfortable for being hard sole so shoes. Like I've had. I've had the Reeboks, I've had a lot of shoes that are made in a similar way with the leather and well, all the stitching and these hold up 10 times better, I must admit, for the extra £30 you pay extra for, from the Reeboks, these offer so much more, I mean they're comfortable, they've got the pad all the way through, Reeboks normally you keep like the pad up to about there and then lever it for the rest of it which obviously ain't very good because it's you don't get the comfort at the end of your toes, with the toes are the things really keeping you up and they I swish. I mean, the looks of the shoe. I haven't even spoke about that. I mean, look at that. What what could you say? This as a brand new shoe, they look spectacular. As a shoe like this, only problems. I don't even have a problem with the crease. To be honest, with you. I mean, it looks bad from above. Right, that looks bad, doesn't it? But from the side, coming in at an angle, right, lifted up. That that looks that looks really brilliant. Like, I I completely rate that. I mean, like, you, you can tell it's wear on these ones. But I mean, you're not gonna be wearing shoes for nine months anyway. If, if they turn out like this, you just, I mean, it only needs to last you six months, if you ask me, because that's that's enough time to save for a shoe. Like, let's be honest, if, even if you just get £10, £10 a month, you can still get the shoe within six months. Right? Well, you can, get, you can get this within seven months if you have £10 a month. If you just get £10 a month, you can have this in seven months, right? So that's not even £10 a week. £10 a week. Right, you can have that within two months, less, less, one week less than two months. You can have this shoe if you had ten pound a week. Do you know how brilliant that is for such a good, hard quality shoe? And I mean, you're not even putting much out your way. Seventy pounds, man. You, I think there's there's a lot of things that are seventy pounds not worth it, and this definitely doesn't come under that that radar of stuff. But anyway, yeah, don't want to spoil too much, but it will be ninety sevens next. Next week, I must admit there's some there's some things you got to say about. It. They've got their pros and cons, so I'd wait until if you if you're thinking about buying a pair, 